everyone. Um, we are back. I am Justine with Just 26 Hot Yoga and Meditation here in Largo, Florida. And this is Stephanie, one of the instructors here as well. And we will take you through three good shoulder openers. In your profession, um, you may be used to hunching over, hunching the shoulders, working with patients. So we're going to give you a couple stretches to really help you open up. Um, stuff you can do either on your break, so really quick postures. Um, take a couple minutes on your lunch break, open up, you'll feel really good. Um, a nice reset for your body. So the first one is uh, a shoulder stretch. We'll start in a tabletop position. So you want to bring your palms, your wrists right under the shoulders. You can spread the fingers wide to start. We're going to start with a neutral spine, the hips right over the knees. And so we'll start by pushing down through the left palm and then reaching up with the right arm. So taking a twist here, reaching up. Good, you can see Stephanie has a really nice opening through her chest as she looks up towards her fingertips. You can inhale, look up, and then exhale, thread the right arm under the left. So you're coming onto the right shoulder, the right side of the face, and really extending that right arm through. And then you can play around with the left hand. Maybe you extend the left arm out. You can always keep a bend in the elbow and press the left palm into the mat. And you should feel a nice opening. You, know, you can reach the left arm behind you, really opening up that left shoulder as well. So you'll feel a stretch through the right side, the upper body, and always important to focus on your breath in these postures. The breath is what helps relieve any tension, any stress, any tightness. And so taking a couple deep breaths here as we open up the right side. And see her hips are nicely stacked over the knees, so we don't just want to make sure they're not swaying too far one side or the other. And after you've taken a few deep breaths here, you can press into that left palm, reach the right arm up again, take a nice deep twist, good, open to the right side, look up, inhale, open through the chest, and then exhale, bring the right hand down. And coming back through your tabletop, and reach up with the left hand, take the twist on the left side, and look up towards the fingertips, opening up through the left side. Good, breathe in, and then exhale, extend the left arm underneath the right side, reaching long as far as you can, coming onto the left shoulder, the left side of the face. Good, you can see pretty clearly here then you have those couple different options. You can extend the right arm away from you, and you can reach the right arm behind you, a little more opening for the right side. You'll still feel this nice stretch through the left side, the shoulder, the upper back. So you take a few deep breaths here, again breathing into any tension, tightness on this side. It's very normal for each side to feel different. After maybe five long, slow, deep breaths here, you can always hold it shorter or longer, depending on how you feel that day. You can bring the right palm back to the mat, pressing through the right palm, reach the left arm up, take the twist again, open up through the left side, look up, breathe. Good, then bring the left hand down, come into your tabletop. Good, and then we'll move on to our second stretch. So our second stretch will be um, a forward fold, so you can make your way to the top of your mat, good, or the back of your mat, so, good. Then bringing your feet about hip width distance apart, or a little bit wider, you're gonna uh, turn the toes in slightly, the heels out. You're gonna interlock the fingers right at the base of the lower back. We'll start by opening up the chest. As you inhale, open the chest. Maybe drop your head gently back, good. Open up through the chest, breathe in. On your exhale, gently fold forward as you hinge at the hips. Good, keeping the leg muscles engaged here, hinging forward, you can always take a micro bend in the knees. Good, as she reaches her palms over the head, 
Good. The palms can come apart. The fingers stay gently interlocked. You should feel an opening through the shoulders here. Good. Don't force this. Just come into a place where you do feel a deep stretch. Definitely no pain through the shoulders, the upper back. Good. Breathing here. And on the exhales, maybe the hands come further in front of you over the head. But again, taking a few long, slow, deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, slowly coming up, activating the core as you come up with control, breathing in, good. And then you can release the hands. Good, and that is our second stretch. And our third shoulder stretch, super easy, something you can do in your office, um, in between patients. So find a, a wall, an empty wall that you can use. We're gonna cactus the right arm so that right elbow is in line with the shoulder. Good, as much as you can, bring that right shoulder to the wall. Good, her feet are side by side, facing forward. And then she's just gently opening up the left side. But everyone's gonna be different here, so depending on the mobility, the range of motion in your shoulder, Again, something you don't want to force, so if there's any pain, just backing off a little bit. Uh, you should feel an opening through the chest, through the pectoral muscles, into that right side shoulder, right bicep. Uh, and maybe extending the arm out, see how that feels. You can play around if it's cactus, if it's extended. Good. Breathing here. Again, super simple, something you can do in between patients, uh, take a quick break, open up the shoulders, especially if you've been working, hunching over all day. And then we'll start and do the other side. So slowly releasing the right arm down. You can cactus the left arm. And so seeing that her left elbow is in line with the shoulder, got about 90 degree angle here, and then opening up through the right side. Maybe this side feels different than the other, normal. Good. Finding a deep stretch through the left side, opening through the chest, breathing into it. Again, your breath may be the most important part during these stretches. While it facilitates relaxation, allows the tension to melt away, it's also great for your, your mental clarity and you can practice maybe extending the left arm. Breathing. And slowly releasing, we bring the left hand up, releasing the left arm down. And those are our three shoulder stretches. And we hope they help you get through your day without any pain and help to prevent injuries. The oral systemic link is so strong. This is going to be serious. It's so strong. <laughs> what's going on in your mouth here is related to the rest of your body, and what's going on with the rest of your body is going to affect your mouth.